guess what for lunch today? Or maybe for dinner. Bulgar porridge. Yeah. That's my bulgar. And I'm going to, this first time for this long while I'm gonna use bulgar. So guess what guys? I'm just gonna try it. I don't know how much it's gonna come out good, but I'm gonna make some bulgar porridge and I'm gonna try it with condensed milk and um coconut milk. Yeah. Or maybe I just do the condensed milk alone. I don't know about the coconut milk, but nothing try, nothing done. So that's my bulgur there. I'm gonna wash it. Pour and not I won't use the whole pack. I'm just gonna use half of it. And I'm gonna wash it and pick it out. Maybe if anything in it, I'm gonna pick it out and stuff. And I show you the next step, guys. Okay. So guys, there, there I put my bulgur wheat to boil. I'm going to let it boil for 15 minutes. So I put my cinnamon leaf in. Guys, and I don't want to overspice my porridge. I don't like when you have too much spice. You know, you don't overdo it. It's up to you if how you want to do yours. But I don't like when my own have too much spice. You know, so I'm going to boil it for 15 minutes with the cinnamon leaf. And when I, I will be right back to show you what it's look like when I'm ready to put in the rest of stuff in it and so on. Guess what people are cooking for 15 minutes. So that's what it look like. And I find it it's very soft now. So I'm going to add in the coconut milk. And leave it to boil for the next 10 minutes. So I leave it to boil for the next 10 minutes and then it boil and then I add in my nutmeg and a little vanilla and the milk and guess what you have to put a little cornstarch. I wish me didn't have to put no cornstarch in it but you have to put cornstarch for it to get thick. That's the cinnamon leaf and as I tell you I don't like to overpower my porridge with too much spice. Some people put bay leaf on there or something. Mm -mm, I don't like it. Just like my cinnamon and my nutmeg. And, and if me using cinnamon leaf, me not going to use the powder because that's the same thing. So I already use the cinnamon leaf. It boiling there. You can smell it. Smell up the whole place. <coughs> yeah. So guys, I'm going to make this boil for at least 10 minutes. Yep. And then I add in the cornstarch. And I add in my sea spice, my coconut, my um, vanilla, right here. And then I'm going to break this and grate some of it. Not make, you can use the trash in the not make this, this thing here. This little cover here, you can use it in your porridge there, you know, it's very spicy. And a tin milk. Yep, that's what going into the porridge. So guys, that's my bulgur porridge. Mm-hmm. So I want to let him cook down. I guess when you see too many no not much bul bulgur. I did put it in a big pot and I end up having to remove it, put it in a smaller pot. It look nice in the colour the gr the colour of the green. Wow. And guys you can cook it as rice there, you know. Yeah, you can cook it and eat it as rice. It's very nutritious. <coughs> it is very nutritious, sir. Guess what? I'm going to give this at least 10 minutes to cook. Let the coconut milk boil. Because if coconut milk don't boil properly, you know, it can give you a stomach problem. Yeah, so coconut milk have to cook. So guys, I'm going to let it cook. And then I spice it up and let you see what it's look like, Parry. So I will be back. Guys, bulgur parry is ready for this for one. Wow, white Coconut milk and the condensed milk. Guys, it's ready to do to devour me and stomach. The way it tastes nice. Guys, I taste it. It's lovely. So guys, thank you all for watching. I'm going to turn it off now and later I'm going to have a bowl. So I want to shoot out as you show, show you what it look like. Mm-hmm. It's a bubble up. 
Bye bye. Peace out and enjoy watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for every nitty nitty gritty thing. Peace. Enjoy my bulgar porridge you know. enjoy watching. And tell me what you think. Yeah. And if you love what I'm doing, just show some love down there.